So we're going to look at five Kansas City area guardrail crashes that occurred yesterday. It's Steve the Guardrail Guy, and if you stick around to the end, I'll show you a sixth crash that occurred in the state of Alabama. So this first crash, this is going to be weather related. And you can uh, see where the crash took place, because I'm going to have to show you beforehand, because when it takes place, you're probably not going to see it. Uh, I'll let you take a look at the storm here. It's pretty impressive. Um, this uh, hit here involves a slotted rail terminal, 350 terminal, that um, it appears the second panel is installed upside down and backwards. That's the first time one of these has been, uh, crashes have been captured on camera. Uh, it, the vehicle did roll over, but the fire department rolls up and it just continues to roll back on. So it doesn't appear that the injuries were serious. So crash number two here, again, is in Kansas. This involves uh, weather again. This one involves a concrete median barrier, the SUV. It spins out and comes right into the concrete barrier, and it stopped. And we prevent the potential deadly crossover incident. Huge success here. Really beautiful crash uh, performance and a good job by KDOT. So crash three is in Kansas and it has concrete barrier and an SRT 350 guardrail, both elements that were included in our first two crashes. Um, this SRT 350, it appears to be somewhat Frankenstein in that it has a two inch by three inch rectangle washer included in it. And um, it looks like it might be missing a slot guard. The performance here, I'm a little concerned about and I don't like seeing two crashes on the same day with SRT 350s that have installation errors. So on crash four, we're in Kansas City, Missouri. It's a high speed crash, goes off the roadside, up the hill, back out onto the highway, spinning around and just kind of tucks in, very lightly hits the concrete median barrier. But had they continued to roll, they may have rolled into adjacent lanes. So again, the concrete barrier does its job. So crash five is in Missouri. It involves concrete barrier. The truck uh, makes a lane change while the vehicle's there and spins them out, throws them into the concrete barrier. Fortunately, this crash could have been a lot worse. It could have been an underride crash or even uh, the truck might have run them over. Uh, traveling on the highway near a tractor trailer should not be a death sentence. This is one of the reasons why we desperately need to incorporate new technology like cameras onto our tractor trailers. So we've made it to the end and here is our bonus crash in Alabama. It's an MSKT guardrail end terminal that's impacted. The vehicle hits it, spins out, goes back into traffic. Uh, fortunately, there wasn't a secondary collision. Uh, I don't know the severity of the injuries, but what I can tell you is the vehicle was not impaled, um, which is a big thing. You can come back from being hurt. You cannot come back from being dead. These videos uh, were captured on LDOT, KDOT, and MoDOT cameras by SafetyVid. It's Steve the Guardrail Guy. I present these to you as real-world examples so that we can take a look and see how these safety features are performing in the real world as compared to the idealized conditions that they're tested under in a controlled laboratory setting. Thank you. Stay tuned because we'll have more crashes tomorrow to take a look at.